Hey resellers and thrifters, I'm Carrie of Be Carried Away. I'm a sometimes part-time, sometimes full-time reseller. I go to estate sales, thrift stores, auctions, garage sales sometimes, looking for undervalued items to resell for a profit online, primarily eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. Today I have a thrift with me, as well as the haul to see what I got. It's very special because I went through the plush and the toys at length, which I don't usually do. And I want to see in this video what I learned and maybe what I should have learned and didn't from Courtney over on the channel Bolo Buddies. Courtney has a channel called Bolo Buddies, which stands for Be On The Lookout. And she is excellent. She specializes or maybe not specializes, but loves to sell plush and toys. So I've been watching a lot of her videos and I wanna see if I learned anything from her. I'm sure that I did. So let's see how I did on my thrift with me and this haul. So at my thrift store, when you first walk in, and I say mine because it's the one that I go to all the time, it's a Salvation Army. Um, when you first walk in, the toys are right inside the door, and I usually just walk straight past and head to the hard goods or the clothes. And today, it just, you couldn't walk by without it catching your eye. Did you see all that stuff? It was loaded. And um, so I decided this would be a great day to see what I could find. This immediately caught my eye. This was Leapfrog Baby, and um, though I don't know a lot about toys, I of course know about Leapfrog. The price was only $1.99, and it was colorful. It was an activity center. I decided to, to put it in my cart and maybe comp it, maybe come back to it and think about um, you know whether I was going to purchase or not. Uh, the same with this item. It's a it's a brand that I know that pretty much all of us know, I'm sure, which is Fisher Price. And this was a workbench. It had working parts, kind of lit up and did different things. Also only $1.99. It was clean, it looked in good condition, and so I did put that in my cart as well. Next, I go over to the more of these kind of plastic toys. This was something called My Cooker, My Cooker, and I didn't really, I tried to comp this. Actually, I thought it was super cute, but um, I didn't see a brand on it. It wasn't anything that I really could find anything out about, so I did leave that one behind. Next, I see this dinosaur. Now, I know dinosaurs are big, right? We all know that. So this looked really cute. Um... I don't know if I pick it up right. Yeah, I did pick it up right here. And this was a dinosaur counting toy. So it had numbers. It was by VTech. So another name brand that I know. Even VTech, whether you know toys or not, you'll know VTech. So I also put that dinosaur in the cart. So I've got the three hard plastic items. I think I've already got a couple of plush in there, maybe that I didn't show putting in. Now, this just looks, you know this whole plush area. This is by Applause, and I have seen that name before. So I thought it was kind of common, maybe too common, and I did put that one back. Here's another Fisher Price item. This is also only $1.99. I think this was some sort of a carnival maybe, or a circus, or something like that. There were working parts. This was a little bit too dirty, I thought, really. Um, needed a lot of cleanup, and for me, Absolutely, time is money for all of us. Time is money, but you know, I sell on eBay and Mercari and Facebook Marketplace um, to have extra free time and, and make money while having free time. So, to me, something that I would have to scrub and clean is not in the cards. That little vet toy was really cute, it was a vet scale. Now, here's a brand that we all know this is John Deere. Now, um that was a plush tractor, absolutely beautiful condition, and that went right in the cart. Um, so now I'm just in Wonderland here. I don't know what I'm looking at. This caught my eye because it was an armadillo from Texas. Mike and I took a COVID road trip to Texas to deliver 
to deliver an eBay item that I sold. And I'm going to do a whole video on that. But we drove actually to New Mexico, but we spent a lot of time in Texas. So that caught my eye. That chicken on a stick caught my eye. <laughs> Aren't they usually horses? But, you know, I'm just in the wild here, not knowing what I'm doing. Um, a tiger... This was really crazy. I probably should have comped this. I think it was a nose. It took me a while to figure it out. I think it was like a, just a nose plush with legs, like a nose with legs. I know this is a princess doll of some kind, but she was not really in that great of condition, so I didn't comp that. This cute little penguin, you know, like these are not um, characters that stand out to me sometimes, you know. Um, I don't know a lot of the characters kids movies and things like that this was really cute disney princess shoe but i couldn't find the other one so i did dig under here just to kind of see what was under the plush and also thought maybe if i found that disney shoe that it might be something i would consider but um i never did find it it probably was under there somewhere i didn't dig all the way down but um Again, here's another doll. Now, this was dated 2015 from Mattel, but I don't know that character, and maybe I should have picked that up. I really don't know. So I'm just digging through a couple of lovies, this tummy toy. There's a Nerf gun. Um, I do actually pick that up and put it in the cart. I don't know if that's on the video, but um, I comped to that and it didn't comp out very well unless you had more than one. It was a zombie something. Now here's a very sweet, really large. Now one of the things that I've noticed from other resellers who do plush is that large items can sell very well. So because she was such a large Minnie Mouse, I did put her in the cart to check out later. This is FAO Schwartz, which turned out to be Toys R Us, um, and I just didn't think too much of that, so I did put that down. I really feel like I'm in the wilderness here. I mean, everything is a puzzle. Now, this looks something like that Courtney probably would pick up. Um, it has all these little figurines in there, and I know they can sell individually for replacements and things like that, but I just don't know what I'm doing so I left that behind I kind of wanted to go for things that I thought might be a sure bet or things that I could actually comp and get an idea this was really cute and it caught my eye just the colors and the look and then when I flipped over the tag I saw that that was a Hatchimal now I know Hatchimals were a big thing for a while so I decided I would put that in the cart and see about it later I think that was another tech toy this i i thought this was cool and i was gonna go back and get it and i think i forgot i don't think that's a toy though that looked like it was some sort of maybe um what do i what does it say on there um i think it might have been an alarm clock or something i don't know what it was here's a little lovey toy brand new with tags plush and lovey didn't comp it maybe i should have i know those lovey toys i've also seen can go well, um, oh, that's the Nerf gun there. That's the zombie hunter sort of Nerf gun. The M&M &M toy was, uh, you know, that was intriguing to me because it was so big, but it looked like it might be something maybe that was common. Um, that was kind of my thought process on that. You can let me know if that's not true. Um, this I, I looked at and looked at and thought about, and one of the things, it had a $10 tag on it on the top, so somebody tried to sell that in a garage sale and it didn't sell. So that made me wonder about that, but I do come back to it. This is really cool. Look at this astronaut bear. I thought that was cool. Now there's a couple of uh, Minnie and Mickey Mouse in there. Again, I don't know if I should have picked those up or not. Are they are they common? Are they do they all sell? Um, they weren't a pair. They were different sizes, and that was something that led me not to pick them up. If they had been a pair, I think I probably would have, but they weren't. So there's this whole big bin here. All kinds of stuff down here. It's just. It's overwhelming. I talked with an employee who was bringing out lots and lots of toys and plush. So I thought, what a great day. There's so much of it. Um, what a great day, right? To see 
how much I've learned from Courtney over at Bolo Buddies. Courtney has a fantastic channel. Bolo stands for Be On The Lookout, where she talks about items that have sold, sold high, that you can purchase low and sell high. She herself loves to sell toys and plush. That's way out of my, um, you know, field of expertise. So I don't generally look for toys and plush, but wait to see what I got. We're gonna see how much I learned from her, what I probably should keep learning from her. And if you see anything in here that I missed, you know, what, what should I have picked up? Maybe things that I should not have picked up. Please let me know. This is a learning curve for me. And I know a lot of us are um, experienced resellers. I've been selling for 20 years, but we all have areas that aren't, you know, our specialty. And so we're all always learning together. And that's what's so wonderful about this YouTube reseller community. So let's get into the haul and see how I did. Okay, first is this Minnie Mouse. Really pretty big. I'm gonna have to measure her, but she has a witch's hat and a witch's dress, and I just think she's really cute. She's in great condition, which is one of the things that you know I've learned from Bolo Buddies. She seems to be um, complete. Doesn't look like there's anything missing. And I did look at the tush tag. She's from Disney, so that's good. And she was $1.99. So I did try to comp her. Um, I didn't find this exact one, but I saw some similar like dancing doll. She has some sort of like hard legs here, and I don't know if she does anything or if that's just so she can stand on the screen. Okay, next is this little guy. It was so cute. Now, I'm not really that familiar with toys, like I said, but this was only 79 cents. Excuse my fingers and nails. I've been dying clothing yesterday, so it's just dying. <laughs> Um, but she was only 79 cents, she, little kitten, and um, I've heard of Hatchimals, you know, it's not something I've purchased before, but she's a Hatchimals uh, spinner, and I looked up this exact one, and it looked like they were going for pretty decent money. So for 79 cents, I'm going to take a chance on this little Hatchimals. Okay, next. A little sip of the refreshment there. Little turtle, right? How cute. And something's going on with this turtle in that it has a shell. So you can um, unwrap the shell inside and the turtle like hatches out of it, sort of. It was 79 cents and it's called Little Brownie Baker's Originals. I didn't actually comp this one. I just thought for 79 cents it was so cute. And I really love turtles. Courtney at Bolo Buddies has an owl for her mascot. If this doesn't sell, I think I'm gonna have a turtle mascot. So what do you think about this one? Is this something, I'm gonna um, comp this and I'll put it up in the um, screenshot and see if this might be something that would sell. But I'm having fun with these plush. Okay, next is Elvis. And this is super cute, you guys. It has um, its original tag. So I had all the information I needed to comp this. And they were going, some of them ranged from like $16 up to like $30 or $35. And I thought this one might maybe be on the higher end because it's really all complete with its um, Elvis hair, its Elvis jacket and guitar. And best of all, check this out. Oh, wait. Let's see. I think I turned it off. Oh, that is so cute! So, the other thing that I just saw that Courtney has a really cool video on that I've never done is to how to include videos in your actual eBay listing. So, I might study that a little bit because this could really use a video, right? Sorry, I can't resist. Okay, and just to show you, I paid $1.99 for this. So, you know, that's gotta be, I mean, I'll make my money back if I don't make more, but I think I'm gonna make more on this. I'm pretty excited about this one. So let's see how he does. Okay, next. Okay, we've all heard of this brand, right? You can't live in the United States and not know about John Deere. But look at this, it's a giant plush, whoa. Now at first, I 
it looks like a tractor. It's kind of hard to show you here. It kind of looks like a tractor, right? But it really looks more like, almost like a four wheeler or like a, um, what would you call that? Like a, I don't know. Yeah, no, I guess it's just a tractor. Look at that. It's got the, it's got the triangle, the warning triangle on the back. So I guess this is my, um, but I did comp these as well. And I didn't see this exact one, but they were going for good money. And I paid only, let's see, I got to find the price sticker on here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, $2.99. So for $2.99, I think I can't go wrong with this John Deere plush. It's really in great condition. Another thing that, you know, I've learned from watching Courtney's videos and, um, you know, I comped them. So I think I might be able to get, you know, 30, 25, 30, 40 dollars, somewhere in that range. So for $2.99, that's a pickup. Okay, next, that's it for the soft plush. Next I have three toys. And I mean, I never, ever, ever pick up toys really. Um, this, but this was only $1.99. And I know it's working because I was able to play it. And we've all heard of Leapfrog, right? So this is a Leapfrog like activity center for maybe like babies. And it's super cool. It's got all kinds of stuff. So I don't know if they're supposed to be, look, it has a little teething ring, which that gotta be washed, right? Um, it's got some ribbons to hold onto. There's a hello and a goodbye door, some little, little guys in there. I don't know. They probably do something. Some flowers with faces. And then I'm not sure what this tube is unless it's just kind of a whimsical little house that they all live in. But this is a leapfrog like activity center and it does um, do some things. So I was making some noise earlier, but I'm not really sure how to get it to work yet. Um, that's why we need Courtney's other channel on reseller test things but um, it will show it will show how this actually works. But I know it was making some noise earlier because I wasn't expecting it to and it was singing to me from the back seat basically. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that and see if I can get it to go. Okay, next is this really large garage and it's from Fisher Price. So Fisher Price is one of those, you know, name brands that we all know about and um, I see Courtney picking up and other, you know, as well as other YouTubers who do um, toys and things like that. But Fisher Price obviously is a really good brand. And so um, I did comp this, comped out at like, you know, 30 to $35, maybe somewhere more. They were kind of all over the place. And, and maybe this has parts to it that I don't have. So I've got to investigate that a little bit more. But if you look right here, that's upside down, but I paid $3.99 for this. Um, and you know, it looks easy enough to ship. It's kind of bulky but really just all it needs is, is a box that fits it and then it can go ups or fedex for a pretty reasonable price it's not really that heavy so i think what i'm going to try to do is really work on getting the best price for the buyer to compete with the other ones that are on there there were some on there that just had crazy shipping prices so they may be not as experienced as resellers and um I'm gonna work to get the best price for that. So this kind of goes up and down. So there's a lot of moving parts on this, and um, if it's not really missing much, I think I think it's a good pickup for four dollars. Let's see. Okay, guys, last of the toys. This is also a large size toy. It's a big kind of castle, and it's a Batman activity castle. There was only one other one listed, and it was only listed for eighteen ninety nine but it had really high shipping on it also. So I think, you know, I'll be able to compete with that one on my shipping price. And I came in at a very low $2.99 at a buying cost. And it has all kinds of moving parts. There's this really cool set of doors here. There's this swinging thing. I'm not sure what exactly. This sort of lights up as it goes back and forth. Oh, that's the bat, isn't that's the call, right? Yeah, the call that goes out for Batman. Um, all kinds of cool stuff. There's, there's this prison here for when he captures the bad guys. And, um, so we'll see, I've got to do a little bit of investigating on this and find out if it's missing any parts. Um, you know, and if so, do I have to lower the price 
Is it complete? Can I get more than that $18.99? So it's gonna take a little bit of research on my part, but I'm happy to do it because I'm, you know, expanding out into the toy and plush area. So that's it for a toys okay. and plush. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me some feedback and comments on what you think about, you know, what did I miss in that plush and the toy section, especially. I was talking with the employee there about how much they had. They just never really had that much. And so I went kind of outside of my, you know, wheelhouse in terms of what I normally pick up. And um, so I'd appreciate the feedback on kind of, you know, what, what I could have learned by picking up additional items. So thank you guys and happy thrifting.